Welcome to the homework for lesson three. This is grade two, module four. Write your name first. And we're practicing the airway. The airway is a great way to show your work when you do mental math. And uh, mental math does not mean that you don't have to show your work. Uh, it just means that you have steps that you can do in your head. The airway is a way to show how you did them what order you did them in. The first set is done for you. So here's an, here, that means A here. That's the example for everything else to look like it. So like for 67 plus 20, that's how you write it down the arrow way. It equals 87. So 67 plus 21, you add the 20, and then you add one more. And then the next set is 67 plus 19. You add the 20, and then you take one back, and you get 86. So these are all these sets. The steps are already laid out for you, but it's just practicing writing down the arrow way, which is one of the best ways to show your mental math work. 56 plus 40 is just 56 plus 20 or plus 40. 40, 96, and we're just looking at the digits here. When you're just adding a 10, it's easy because you just have to look at the tens place digits. 96, and then our next one is to do 41. So we're going to do that in two steps. We're going to do the 40 and then the one. And that's just how that's how a lot most people do math in their head. For the numbers this large, usually you break it down into the digits, and you look at the first the tens and Usually the tens are first. It's easier to do the tens first most of the time and then the ones. So the first step is 56 plus the 40, which is 96. We already figured that one out. Then we add the plus one because it's 41. 97. And now 56 plus 39, you'll notice 41 is one more than 40, and 39 is one less than 40. So we're going to add the 40, and instead of adding one more, we're going to take one back. And that's just a really easy mental way to add 56 plus 39. Now we're going to do some airway subtraction. Minus 40. We can just use the digits for this one because we're subtracting zero ones. So we just have to look at the tens place digits. It's 6 minus 4, 28. It gets a little more complicated when we're not subtracting zero ones for our subtrahend. When we're subtracting, we have to subtract ones and tens, but in this case, you can get away with it using the digits because you have enough ones to take from. And it's safer to think about it in these steps than to just try and do both digits in your head at once. It really is because it doesn't always work. That you can do this. Uh, okay, six days we're subtracting 40, which gets you the 28. And then we're subtracting one more, which leaves us with one less. <clears throat> now we're subtracting 39, so it's like backwards from addition where we added too much and we took one back. Now we're subtracting too much and we're adding one back. So the easy way to do this one is going to be 68. We're going to subtract the 40. But we're only supposed to subtract 39. So we sub we're subtracting an extra, an extra one here. That's the 28. So we're going to, to make it up, we got to add it back. And this is really... If you think about it, this is the same as the take from 10 strategy we used to do. Minus 50, we just look at the 10's digits, 8 minus 5. 
three tens, and we still have the seven ones, 37. And now we're going to subtract 50, and then we're going to subtract one more to subtract 51. And then we subtract the one more, which leaves us with 36. And now <clears throat> we're going to subtract the 49, so we're going to be, instead of subtracting one more, we're going to be adding one back. Solve using the Arroway, Number Bonds, or Mental Math. Use scrap paper if needed. And so these are just more, it's the same thing we just practiced, except now we're just doing a lot more of it in less space. If you have one-sided pages for your homework, use the back of the first page. Or you can just use a, a blank piece of paper or any kind of a scrap paper, the back of some other paper that you're going to throw out, whatever you have, uh, to do your, to use the arrow way to write it down. Because sometimes if you if you're still not comfortable getting all this with your in your head, then uh, it it really does help to write down the numbers and look at them as you go, so you can keep track of what you're doing. So the first steps are usually the easiest ones because we're just subtracting 10s, right? 28. And then we're just going to subtract. And you can see this is set up to be, now we're subtracting one more. Now we're subtracting one less. So if we're subtracting one more, we're going to have a smaller difference. And if we're subtract, subtracting one less, we're going to have a larger difference. You can just look at it that way. These are all set up that way, but be careful because you know how this is. Eventually, it's going to be different and the pattern won't hold. So we just have to be careful that we're looking at what we think we're looking at. So 86 minus 50, that's going to be 36. And now we're going to subtract one more. So we'll have one less left over, right? Because when you take away more, you're going to have less left. And then when you take away less, you're going to have more left. 37 plus 40, 77. And then plus 41, we're adding now. We're adding now, right? So now we're going to have one more, 78. And now we're adding one less, so we're going to have one less, 76. <clears throat> 62, and this is addition. 62 plus 30 are our add-ins, so our total is going to be 92. And now we're adding one more. 31 is one more than 30, so our sum is going to have one more, 93. And now we're adding one less than 30, so our sum is going to be one less than our sum was up here, which is 91. So you can see now all the practice we've been doing and what's one more than, what's one less than, what's 10 more than, what's 10 less than, and then the airway and all of this is getting us ready to, to be able to do this in our heads. All the stuff that we've been working on recently in the last few weeks. So 77 minus 40, we're looking at the tens digits here because we're just, we have zero ones here. Our ones digit is a zero. So we're not subtracting any ones, we're just subtracting tens. Ten, you know, these are tens less. So that's 37 left. And now we're going to subtract one more. So we'll have one less left, 36. And now we're subtracting one less, so we'll have one more left, 38. And now these are all addition. We're looking at add-ins. 28 plus 50, 78. It's just looking at the tens digits, two and five, seven. And now we're gonna add one more, so our sum should have one more, 79. And now we're gonna add one less because 49 is one less than 50 so we're going to add one less so our sum should have one less 77. marcy had 84 dollars in the bank 
Marcy's usually a girl's name, so that's her. She took $39 out of her account. How much does she have in her account now? I'm going to use the arrow way for this. You have to show your work. So you could draw a tape diagram for this and then write a number sentence, or you could just do this and you could just use the arrow way to show it. I'm going to, since we've been practicing the arrow way, I'm going to use the arrow way. 84 she has in the bank. She takes out 39. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take out, instead of taking out 39, 39 is really close to 40, isn't it? So I'm going to subtract the 40 because it's easier to subtract tens. It's going to be easier to subtract 40 than 39. 84 minus 40, 44. But that taking away 40 is too much, right? If there's one, I took away one extra one. She's only supposed to take out 39. So now I'm going to add that extra one I took away. I'm going to add it back. 45 is what she should have left. Actually, let me fix this. So Marcy has. Marcy has 45 dollars left in the bank in her account. Now Brian has 92 centimeters of rope. He cuts off a piece, 49 centimeters long to tie a package. How much rope does Brian have left? So I'm just going to practice the same thing we've been practicing. That 49 is almost 50. So it's going to be easier to subtract 50 than subtract 49. So I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to say we've got, he started with 92 and he subtracts 50. And that leaves us with 42. But then we took away an extra one, right? Because it's only supposed to take away 49. So we're going to add that extra one we took away. We're going to add it back. 43. Brian has... 43 cm of rope left. Now here, I mean, here's an example of it. If you just wrote the answer is 43, this, you're not going to be able to use it to answer part B. Because it's 43 what? What the answer to what is 43? There's two different questions here. So... Please be careful when you write your answers. You should never write the answer is because I can't think of it's just a bad habit it, because it's a mindless um, habit where you're not thinking about what your answer really means. You don't you're not paying attention to what the numbers are or, or why you're adding or subtracting, whether you should be adding or subtracting. So it's just a bad habit. Let's write our answer statements so that they match the questions and that way they'll actually help us figure out if we're if we're really done answering the question or if there's another step we have to keep track of what it is that we're doing with the numbers and whether they are whether they matter to answering the question to tie a different package brian needs another piece of rope that is eight centimeters shorter eight centimeters shorter than the piece he just cut does he have enough rope left so I'm going to draw a little picture here just because there's a lot of like sh this thing is there's a different package and another piece of rope and it's shorter than something else that he already did. And does he have enough rope left? There's a lot going on in this. So I'm going to draw a picture just so I can make sure I can keep it all straight. So he needs another piece of rope. So here's the piece he just cut. He cut. Well, how long is the piece he just cut? Well, it says right here he cut off a piece that's 49 centimeters right so this piece was 49 and he needs another piece of rope that eight that's eight centimeters shorter than the piece he just cut so this is a for another piece and this is going to be shorter than that by we don't know how long it is yet but that's what we're going to figure out 
but we do know that the shorter is 8. That's how much shorter it is. That's the difference between the two. Does he have enough rope left? How much rope does he have left? We know how much because we just figured that out here, right? He has 43 centimeters left. So we have to figure out this 49, take away the 8, and see if it's enough. So how long is this another piece of rope that he needs? 49 minus 8. Now we can just look at the digits for this one, right? Because he has nine, uh, 9 centimeters in this other piece. At 8 shorter, we can just subtract the 8 from that 9. And we'd have 41. So this is 41. And how much rope does he have left? He has 43. So... 43 will be enough. It's bigger than, it's greater than 41. In fact, you can see he's going to have two centimeters left over. Yes. Brian will have two centimeters of rope left 